Did you check your Amazon advertising reports? If not, you might be missing out on lots of opportunities. Amazon provides helpful information in these reports. They can really help you make your ad campaigns better and reach your advertising goals. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, Proactive Angelist at Sellerapp and today I'll tell deeper into the various Amazon Ads reports and explore how to use them to improve your campaigns and maximize your ROAS. To understand better, I've split this topic into two parts. In part one, I will cover Amazon sponsored product reports and in part two, I'll reveal the ins and outs of sponsored brands and sponsored display reports. So stay tuned for all the actionable insights. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Amazon advertising reports are tools that help you track and understand how well your ads are performing. They give you important details about your ad campaigns, like how many people are clicking on them and how much you are spending. So with these reports, you can see uh, what's working and what needs improvement in your marketing efforts. It's important to know that each product is unique. Even if you're selling similar things, different products might respond differently to ads. That's why keeping an eye on your ad data and measuring the success of each campaign is really important. Moving on to how to access Amazon advertising reports. Firstly, log into your Amazon Ads account. Click on Measurement and Reporting in the main menu. Choose Sponsored Ads Report. Inside the reports, click Create Report. Pick the type of report you want and the time period you are interested in. Decide if you want a daily report which shows data for each day or a summary report which combines data for a period. Click Run Report. So once the report is ready, you can download it as an Excel file. Amazon offers different types of reports depending on the type of ad you are running, such as sponsored products, sponsored brands, and sponsored display campaigns. So here's a quick overview. Key metrics in an Amazon ads report are, first is campaign name. It is the name of the campaign. Next is ad group name, name of the ad group, targeting, it is the name of the target in an ad group. Impressions, number of times the ads are shown to the shoppers. Clicks, number of times uh, shoppers clicked on the ads. Click-through rate, a ratio of ad clicks to ad impressions showing how often shoppers click on the ad when they see it. Cost per click, average cost paid for each ad click. Spent total amount spent on the campaign to get clicks or impressions, 7 days to 14 days sales, uh, total product sales within 7 to 14 days, uh, 7 days for sponsored products, 14 days for sponsored brands and display ads, from the date the ad was clicked, total advertising cost of sales, that is percentage of ad sales spent on advertising, total return on advertising spent, a ratio of total product sales to total advertising spend uh, indicating revenue generated for every dollar spent on advertising. 7 day to 14 day total orders that is total number of orders within a 7 or 14 day window. Total units, total number of units ordered by shoppers after clicking on the ads. Next is conversion rate percentage of users who placed orders compared to uh, you know total users who visited the product detail page then is advertised SKU or ASIN product advertised in the given ad group advertised SKU units uh, units sold of advertised products in the ad group other SKU units uh, units sold of uh, products not advertised in the ad group advertised SKU sales sales generated from advertised SKUs in the ad group, other SKU sales, 
sales generated from products not advertised in the ad group, average time and budget, a percentage time your campaign stayed within the budget. So now let's look into the sponsored products report. First is a search terms report. Ever wondered which search terms lead shoppers to click on your sponsored ads? Search term reports can give you this valuable information. They tell you the exact keyword or ASIN that made shoppers click or buy your products. You can use this report to find high converting terms from auto or broad match type campaigns and use them in your exact campaign for better control. Also, if some terms have a high A cost or no conversions after lots of clicks, you can add them as negative terms to save on ad spend. Second is targeting report. The targeting report shows all the keywords and targets you are aiming for uh, you know, in each campaign. It reveals how well your different targets are doing over time. You can spot opportunities to optimize the bids within this report. For instance, if a report gets few ad views uh, but a good click-through rate making your ad more visible and if a cost for a target is higher than usual you might want to lower the bids to cut down on costs third is advertised products report uh, this report gives insights into sales and performance data for advertised asins across all the campaigns with at least one view fourth is campaign report Campaign reports uh, summarize how well a campaign did in a certain period. You can use this to find campaigns that aren't making much profit where you might want to ease off on bids and budget. And if you find highly profitable campaigns, you can think about increasing bids and budgets to maximize your case. Fifth is budget report. Uh, it tells you how often your campaign stayed within budget and estimates uh, the impressions, clicks and sales you might have missed because of limited daily ad budgets. Ideally, you want your top performing campaigns to always stay within uh, the budget. You can use this report to find high performing campaigns where the average time in the budget is less than 100%. Sixth is placement report. Your sponsor product ad can appear at the top of the Amazon search results in other results or in a prior detail page. The placement report shows how well a campaign performs on different placements. You can use it to find campaigns that might benefit from adjusting uh, the bid modifiers for specific placements. Uh, for example, if your ad has a 20% A cost at the top of search, a 34% uh, you know on the product page and 35% in other search results you might want to bid higher for the top of search placement to get more visibility Seventh is purchase product report Sometimes a shopper clicks on your ad but ends up buying a different product from your catalog For instance, they might click on your ad in search results and they buy something else from your store page the purchased product report shows performance details of non-advertised ASINs that shoppers brought um, after you know clicking on your ad. So this helps you understand what shoppers are purchasing after clicking on your ad. Eighth is performance over time report. This report gives you an overview of ad spend and performance for all the sponsored product campaigns combined over a selected time period. Ninth is search term impression share report. Well, uh, the search term impression share report gives you two important performance metrics for all of your search terms. The first one is search term impression share. This tells you the percentage of impressions your ad got compared to other advertisers for the same search term. For example, if your ad had a 50% impression share for the term protein powder on May 1st, it means your ad got half of the impressions for that term on that day while other advertisers got the rest. Next is search term impression rank. Now this is a number that shows how your ad's uh, impression share ranks against other advertisers for the same search term. For instance, if your rank is 3 for a keyword, it means two other advertisers got more impressions than you on that particular day. 
you can use this report to find terms uh, where you have a low impression share but high conversions so this could mean there's a chance to get more customers by bidding higher on those terms tenth and the last one is cross and invalid uh, traffic report uh, invalid traffic refers to clicks and views that are fake involuntary not from uh, you know not from humans or duplicated amazon only charges you for valid traffic so this report shows you both the total traffic and the invalid traffic that amazon identified at the campaign level giving you transparency so to make smart decisions and get results or uh, your uh, you know with your amazon ppc you need to rely on the data that's where your amazon advertising reports come in handy they give you valuable insights and help you find areas to improve Remember this is just part 1 of Amazon advertising reports stay tuned for part 2 where i will cover our sponsored brands and sponsored display reports if you need help getting started on optimizing your amazon ad campaigns don't hesitate to reach out to us at support@salarab.com and that's it for this video everyone thanks for watching your support means a lot to us it encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this So if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to Selarab. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And until the next time. Happy selling.